Welcome to my YouTube channel in this video we will talk about pneumonia. So before going to the video make sure to hit the like comment and subscribe button so you don't miss any update from us. What is pneumonia? Pneumonia is an infection in your lungs caused by bacteria, viruses or fungi. Pneumonia causes your lung tissue to swell, inflammation, and can cause fluid or pus in your lungs. Bacterial pneumonia is usually more severe than viral pneumonia, which often resolves on its own. Pneumonia can affect one or both lungs. Pneumonia in both of your lungs is called bilateral or double pneumonia. What are the types of pneumonia? We categorize pneumonia by which pathogen, virus, bacteria or fungi, caused it and how you got it. Community acquired, hospital acquired or ventilator associated pneumonia. It can be difficult to tell the difference between the symptoms of a cold, the flu and pneumonia, and only a healthcare provider can diagnose you. As pneumonia can be life-threatening, it's important to seek medical attention for serious symptoms that could be signs of pneumonia, such as 1. Congestion or chest pain 2. Difficulty breathing 3. A fever of 102 degrees Fahrenheit 38.88 degrees Celsius, or higher 4. Coughing up yellow, green or bloody mucus or spit. Who is most at risk of getting pneumonia? You're at an increased risk of pneumonia if you 1. Are over the age of 65 and are under the age of 2. 2. Are living with a lung or heart condition. 2. Examples include cystic fibrosis, asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, pulmonary fibrosis or sarcoidosis. 3 are living with a neurological condition that makes swallowing difficult. 3. Conditions like dementia, Parkinson's disease and stroke increase your risk of aspiration pneumonia. 4. Are in the hospital or at a long-term care facility. 5. Smoke. 6. Are pregnant. 7. Have a weakened immune system. 7. You might have a weakened immune system if you're on chemotherapy, are an organ transplant recipient, are living with HIV, AIDS or are taking medications that suppress your immune system. How common is pneumonia? Anyone can get pneumonia. It's a common illness, with millions of people diagnosed each year in the United States. About 55,000 people die each year of pneumonia in the US. It's the most common cause of death in developing countries. Symptoms and causes. Symptoms of pneumonia depend on the cause. Symptoms can range from mild to severe. Babies, young children and older adults may have different symptoms. Symptoms of bacterial pneumonia. Symptoms of bacterial pneumonia can develop gradually or suddenly. Symptoms include 1. High fever, up to 105 F or 40.55 C. 2. Cough with yellow, green or bloody mucus. 3. Tiredness, fatigue. 4. Rapid breathing. 5. Shortness of breath. 6. Rapid heart rate. 7. Sweating or chills. 8. Chest pain and or abdominal pain, especially with coughing or deep breathing. 9. Loss of appetite. 10. Bluish skin, lips or nails, cyanosis. 11. Confusion or altered mental state. Symptoms of viral pneumonia. Symptoms of viral pneumonia usually develop over several days. You might have symptoms similar to bacterial pneumonia or you might additionally have. 1. Dry cough. 2. Headache. 3. Muscle pain. 4. Extreme tiredness or weakness. Symptoms of pneumonia in young children. Babies and newborns may not show any symptoms of pneumonia or their symptoms may be different from adults, including 1. Fever, chills, general discomfort, sweating, flushed skin. 2. Cough. 3. Difficulty breathing or rapid breathing, tachypnea. 4. Loss of appetite. 5. Vomiting. 6. Lack of energy. 7. Restlessness or fussiness. Signs you can look for in babies and young children include 1. Grunting sound with breathing or noisy breathing. 2. A decreased amount of pee or diapers that are less wet. 3. Pale skin. 4. Limpness. 5. Crying more than usual. 6. Difficulty feeding.
Symptoms of pneumonia in adults over 65. Adults over 65 or those with weakened immune systems may have mild or less noticeable symptoms of pneumonia, like cough and shortness of breath. Symptoms of ongoing health conditions may worsen. Older adults may experience 1. A sudden change in mental state. 2. Low appetite. 3. Fatigue. What tests will be done to diagnose pneumonia? These include 1. Imaging. Your provider can use chest X-ray or CT scan to take pictures of your lungs to look for signs of infection. 2. Blood tests. Your provider can use a blood test to help determine what kind of infection is causing your pneumonia. 3. Sputum test. You're asked to cough and then spit into a container to collect a sample for a lab to examine. 3. The lab will look for signs of an infection and try to determine what's causing it. 4. Pulse oximetry. A sensor measures the amount of oxygen in your blood to give your provider an idea of how well your lungs are working. 5. Pleural fluid culture. Your provider uses a thin needle to take a sample of fluid from around your lungs. 5. The sample is sent to a lab to help determine what's causing the infection. 6. Arterial blood gas test. Your provider takes a blood sample from your wrist, arm or groin to measure oxygen levels in your blood to know how well your lungs are working. 7. Bronchoscopy. In some cases, your provider may use a thin, lighted tube called a bronchoscope to look at the inside of your lungs. 7. They may also take tissue or fluid samples to be tested in a lab. Management and Treatment. How is pneumonia treated? Some treatments may include 1. Antibiotics. Antibiotics treat bacterial pneumonia. 1. They can't treat a virus but a provider may prescribe them if you have a bacterial infection at the same time as a virus. 2. Antifungal medications. Antifungals can treat pneumonia caused by a fungal infection. 3. Antiviral medications. Viral pneumonia usually isn't treated with medication and can go away on its own. 3. A provider may prescribe antivirals such as oseltamivir, Tamiflu, Zanamivir, Relenza, or Paramivir, Rapavab, to reduce how long you're sick and how sick you get from a virus. 4. Oxygen Therapy. If you're not getting enough oxygen, a provider may give you extra oxygen through a tube in your nose or a mask on your face. 5. IV Fluids. Fluids delivered directly to your vein, IV, treat or prevent dehydration. 6. Draining of Fluids. If you have a lot of fluid between your lungs and chest wall, pleural effusion, a provider may drain it. 6. This is done with a catheter or surgery. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button so you don't miss any update from us.